Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to tackle a super common mistake that a lot of React developers make, especially when they're just starting out. It's a big one, and we're talking about why you should never update state directly. Yeah, I know it might seem harmless, but trust me, it's a trap. Okay, so let's break it down, and I'll show you how and why. Okay, so you're working on a React app, and you are got a piece of state, maybe a counter, a list of items, whatever, and you think, I'll just update this value directly. No big deal, right? Wrong. <laughs> Check this out, and here's what not to do. All right, so what's going on here? We are directly mutating the count variable by doing count plus equal one. Sure, you'll see the updated value in the console, but React has no idea that this change happened. Your UI, it's still showing the old value. So let's run this code and see what I mean. You see it? So clicking the button, but the UI isn't budging. Why? Because React did not detect a state change. And that's because we bypassed React system for handling state updates. This is where people get stuck. But don't worry, I got you. There is a right way to update the state, and it's super easy. I want to show you how to do it. Okay, so here is the trick. You've got to let React do its thing. Use the setter function that React gives you to update the state properly. Let me show it's done the right way. Now, instead of messing the count directly, we're using the setCount function to let React handle the update. This way, React knows, hey, the state just changed. Time to re-render the component. All right, so let's run and see what happens. Yes, now every time you click the button, the count goes up and the UI updates exactly as it should. And this is the magic of React state management at work. All right, so let's hit the main points one more time because this is crucial for React developers. One, never ever mutate state directly. It breaks the React's reactivity and you'll end up with a UI that doesn't update and nobody wants that. Two, always use the setup function, in this case, the set count to update the state. React will do all the heavy lifting for you. There's no need to take shortcuts. And three, if you do mutate state directly, expect weird bugs and probably hours of debugging. It's not worth it, folks. Okay, and that's it. Now you know why mutating state directly is a no-go and how to do it the right way. If this video helped you out, smash the like button and hit subscribe for more React tips and tricks. Got any questions? Drop them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy coding!